Hello insiders. Welcome to a new episode of the News Flash. Let's get started with our updates for this week. The very first update is on the swap of the create and notifications icon in the YouTube main app. We are moving the position of the create button in the YouTube app to highlight the ability to create on mobile by placing this button in the middle of the bottom navigation bar. This shifts the subscription button to the right and the notifications button to the top right hand corner. Both the buttons are still accessible and will have the exact same functionalities. We have heard that the previous placement of the create button is not very intuitive and this new spot will make it easier for creators to create and upload videos on mobile. This will first roll out to users in India on Android and soon expand to iOS and other countries. The next update is on YouTube giving creator expansion. Monetizing channels in the US, UK and Canada with more than 40,000 subscribers will have access to YouTube giving. Channels with access can fundraise for US nonprofits only. To learn more about YouTube giving and eligibility, please check out the links in the description box below. The next update is on the new icons in iOS main app. YouTube has developed new icons which supports an accessibility improvement for our apps by featuring outlined assets for non-selected options and filled icons for selected options, thus allowing a high contrast, consistent state for selected and non-selected icons. Let us know if you have already noticed this change in the comments section below. Next up is the EMEA Gaming Panel. Last week we hosted an all-female virtual gaming panel with a handful of amazing creators and gaming professionals from EMEA covering a variety of different topics ranging from allyship, mentorship, imposter syndrome and gaming during COVID. If you would like to check out the recording, we will leave the link in the description below. Next. We have an update from Connor about a new opportunity to stay up to date whenever our policy language changes. Take it away, Connor. All right, insiders, I am back just for a little bit of this news flash uh, with what I think is actually quite a good update um, around monetization guidelines, also known as the advertiser friendly content guidelines. So we actually update those fairly regularly now, um, and we do that and focus on clarifications. So when we hear from creators, hey, this really isn't clear, we add in language to make it a little bit clearer. That's the case for the advertiser-friendly content guidelines page, as well as the rate your content with self-certification page. Now, keeping track of what is being updated is something that we've heard is really tough. So we actually created another page uh, to track that, uh, replete with dates of what's changing and a little summary to outline which elements are changing. The fault of that page is that you can't subscribe to it. So you have to keep on going back and looking consistently. So what we've done is we've set up a forum, which is exactly the same updates as this updates page that we had initially set up, but this enables you to subscribe. And the key here is if you subscribe, every time I update that page, then you're going to get an email notification saying, hey, there's been an update to the forum. This is a better way to keep on top of exactly what's been clarified and what language is changing within the advertiser-friendly content guidelines. Um, it's gonna be particularly important for self-certification. That's something I've been working on for the past couple of weeks um, as we tinker with some of the language, make it a little bit clearer um, and work on the feedback that you receive when you get that yellow icon. There's gonna be a link in the description below I'm told so go there subscribe we have about 2,000 subscribers now I'd love to kick that up to 10 by the end of the year uh, because this is a really great way for creators to keep on top of monetization policies so I'm told I'll be back soon uh, but for now uh, stay safe thanks for the update Connor let's move on to the YPP contract cleanup update Previously, YouTube allowed creators to start the application process before they met the YPP eligibility requirements. This included pre-signing a YPP terms of agreement. 
This past year, we redesigned the application process in YouTube Studio, making the eligibility requirements more clear and the process more simple and streamlined. Creators who signed the YPP terms in Classic Studio may have recently received an email about their YouTube Partner Program application. This email is simply a notice that if your channel is not eligible for YPP in the next 30 days, we will invalidate the pre-signed terms. If you have received this email, nothing changes in the way you use or experience YouTube. You will still have the opportunity to apply for the YouTube Partner Program in the future when your channel is eligible. You can check your status in the Monetization tab in YouTube Studio. Moving on to announcing the winner for last week's trivia question. The question was, which country consumes the most chocolate per capita? The answer is one of the most beautiful places that I have visited so far, Switzerland. The winner is Marco JP again, who was the first one to answer this question. Congratulations on the win. There's no trivia this week, but before I sign off, I'd like to thank you for all the amazing feedback through these five episodes of the News Flash. This will be my last episode for now, and you will have a great new host next week. So continue to stay safe, continue to have fun, and keep it real.